Welcome to this video about Against the Storm. This is the Queen's Viceroy I Simulate. I explore different simulation games and share gameplay videos of those I like. Subscribe to my channel if you are also a simulation game lover. In this episode, I'm starting a new settlement on the Pioneer difficulty. First thing, we are going to compare the two difficulty levels. After setting the difficulty to Pioneer, there's no change to Caravan resources. And then next page, we need more reputation points to complete the settlements. That said, we earn more rewards and experience points. The modifiers? We will have to deal with two more negative modifiers on Pioneer difficulty. Okay, let's get started. The forest mysteries say that we gain 30 insects for each discovered glade in Drizzle season. Resource nodes depleted during the Drizzle spawn fertile soil. Moving on to the negative modifiers, again we have the minus 4 to global reserve during the storm seasons. When the forest hostility level reaches 1, 9 villages move 40% slower during the storm seasons. And when the hostility level reaches 3, villages who don't have anything to eat during a break will gain 2 stacks of the hunger effect. Also, resources sacrificed in the hearth burn 40% quicker. I will try my best not to let hostility level go up to 3. We have lizards and harpies in our settlements. Harpy firekeepers can teach villages how to be more nimble and agile. Global carrying capacity is increased by 5. This is good, but still I prefer a lizard firekeeper who can boost global resolve. On Pioneer difficulty, we need 14 instead of 12 reputation points to win. The challenge does not end there. We will only be given 11 orders. On Settler difficulty, we used to receive 12. The first two sets of orders, I pick those who either reward more villages or tools, because at the beginning we don't have enough workers, and with tools, we can open caches containing reputation points. In the second year, we discover a dangerous glade. It has a small, destroyed caravan. This is a special glade event. The threats will not be removed after the glade event is finished. That means traders will not visit and trading is not available. We are on our own here. Another threat is one full impatience point. Lovely! Working effect is minus 4 to global resolve. I'm picking the 0.5 reputation point reward. The forest hostility level is already 1 in the third year. Comparing with the satellite difficulty, the negative effects are now more serious. One villager means three hostility points here, but only two in satellite difficulty. One woodcutter already gives 12 hostility now, while it used to be 8. However, the positive effects remain the same. A hearth gives minus 30 and each impatience point minus 15. We have discovered 4 glades and can turn in this order to take the 10 tours. This will allow us to open this cache to reap the 0.75 reputation points. In the third year, we have built a supply chain in our settlements to make biscuits and pies, keeping the villagers happy. At this point, we have almost 5 reputation points. Not bad. In addition to food, I think we can have some surface buildings in our settlements. The Explorer's Lodge is a good one. It can fulfill brawling needs for the lizards and harpies, and education needs for the beavers. Let me build a cooperage first, where training gears can be made. And then I'm building our Explorer's Lodge next to it. Soon, we are in the storm season of the fifth year. We have 7 reputation points and 5 orders ready to be delivered. If we are on the settler difficulty, we can complete these settlements already. But now we need 2 more reputation points. All available orders have been received. We have to find other ways to push for the two remaining reputation points. Our villages are doing okay. The forest hostility level is 2, and the storm is now giving us a minus 16 hit on global resolve. Good that nobody's resolve is dropping to zero yet. After the storm, the village's resolve is bouncing back to normal, and we discover another dangerous glade. It's a bit unfortunate, this dangerous glade event does not reward reputation points. But by offering good food and a service building, we are accumulating reputation through high resolve. Here is what I like and don't like about this game, it's randomness. You don't know what blueprints you can unlock, what you will find in each dangerous glade. This makes planning difficult, but at the same time the game more unpredictable and more fun. Earlier in this settlement, I picked the Brickyard Blueprints because it could make this crystallized duel something we need to produce tools. I was such a great planner, knowing that one way to gain reputation points fast was to produce tools to open as many caches as possible. And then I didn't come across blueprints of any building that can make tools. So, a lot of caches remain closed until the 6th year when I have 11 reputation points and 3 orders ready. Now let us complete these settlements. As we have a difficulty modifier 1, our score looks much better this time. We gain a slight smile from the queen because her impatience stayed below 6 for the game. 
First time on Pioneer difficulty and completing a settlement within six years. I hope it's not too bad. This time I'm purchasing this Obsidian Archive level 5 upgrade. It will allow me to pay Ember to reroll blueprints, meaning I have more chances to unlock blueprints I need. Two upgrades further, the Obsidian Archive level 7 will unlock factions. It will be new content and a lot of fun. Okay, I hope you enjoy this video as well as the game. Stay tuned and enjoy Against the Storm. See you next time. Take care.